how to use a 10 inch chop saw. This is commonly either called a chop saw or a miter box. The reason it's called a miter box, if you look here, it shows you you can cut up a 45 degree angle or you can cut square or any angle in between 15. Now, on my saw, I have the, the guard off of that, so I like to be able to see where my blade is going. So, pretty much you just hit the switch here, you squeeze that, and you, it pulls down and cuts. Now, here, let me make a first cut for you. That, that's a square cut. I also like to show you how to make the different angles. You just push this over, put it over like this to make a 45. I'm going to make two quick cuts here. You always want to wait for the saw to come to a complete stop before you take the scrap out of there. And here's another 45. Now it depends what you want to do. If you want to continue adding 45s to this, you just bring it up on end. Like this. Now you gotta wait for the blade to stop and take that, that piece of scrap out of there. Again, another 45. little bit of a cone on top. Now I'm going to show you again how to make another kind of an angle. I like to make a 30 degree angle. This is commonly used as a trim saw so a lot of times you have different types of angles. Like I say you've got to keep your hand out of the way when you when you cut and and think is my hand out of the way and then then go ahead and cut. A saw like this can also cut larger dimension lumber. I'd like to show you, for example, a 2x6. No. Like that. The nice thing about it, it's perfectly square no matter what, no matter what you do. And then Lastly, I'd like to show you how to cut a pyramid top on a 4x4, four four, for example, fence post. What I do is I bring it up to this mark here. I have a gauge. So I'm going to make four quick cuts, but in between each one, I'm going to wait for the saw blade to stop to get the piece of lumber out of the way. Wait for the saw blade to stop. Pull it back. And now I'm going to line it up again to the same spot right here. You've got to get that scrap out of the way because the, the saw will kick it out. Oh, look at that beautiful cut. You can't do that with a skill saw. Like I said, this is a, a 10 inch blade right here. It also has venting on it, and these are all carbide tipped blade teeth in there. My saw has a bagger on it, so if I'm working in somebody's house, I don't want to have that sawdust all over. This is a very inexpensive, lightweight saw. It also has a lockdown. Before you're done with it, you want to unplug it. I'd like to show you. It's got a lockdown right here. See this button here? Push it. Lock it. It's ready, ready to take on to any job site. Now, if you take a look here, it's got two handles. This one just for carrying. In and out of the truck real easy. You load it up. We have these heavy ones. Thank you very much. I hope you've learned something about